<clears throat> Hi. Oh my goodness, just know when you get old, your hands cramp up. I feel like I gotta break my, pop my knuckles or whatever they do, crack your knuckles. This hand is hurting. I'm going to a hand specialist tomorrow to see what other damage possibly was done when um, I took that fall and it ripped my finger to the other side. There was nothing broken, but some people think that a tendon might be torn or something, and it just really hurts. So I'm one of those old ladies today that's just talking about her aches and pains. And then my left leg feels like I'm dragging it, and it's not doing well, so I have to, you know, be really careful. So I need to have that addressed. I'm just falling apart. You know, and I've talked to my kids. I can no longer be a caregiver. I just, I can't do it. I'll take a break and kind of, I need my own place. I need to, I need to get myself back together again. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Help. Put her back together. It can be done. It can be done. I have a sinus infection. And I know that I have had sinus infections put me in the hospital before, but my doctor um, told me to do certain things, so I need to run to the store tomorrow. <clears throat> and then you have those moments when you look in the mirror, and it's like, oh my God, how long has it been? It's like my eyebrows were like, oh, crazy bushy. I got the lip thing going, I got a canker sore going, I got the fuzzy face going, I got the whiskers going. Talk about being a hot mess. Hot, hot mess. So, my daughter's going to pick me up early tomorrow. Today I went and got my car. I did have my car fixed, uh, the brakes fixed. It was not outrageous, so I was able to get that done. So I can drive it a little longer. I always feel like I see things. I mean, I'm looking at the screen and it's like, I, I, I see, and it's not looking out the window and seeing the cars go by or anything like that. It's like I, it's just a flash and it's not dust. Watching too many of those ghost adventure videos. I've been putting, um, when I get a canker sore, and I know some people say, leave it alone, I pop the blisters. And then I keep applying peroxide to it and uh, drying it out. It seems to go away faster. And. I feel brain dead. We went and saw my aunt today. And I'm so ADD. Kind of fought with my uncle today, but I mean, it's all good. We, you know, it's forgiven, forgetting stuff. It's just hard. I just wish he'd go in the hospital. Um, anyway. And I forgot about, I don't know, it's like I'm getting my days messed up. I kept thinking it was Wednesday and it's here, it's Tuesday. And it's like, I can't find my notebook that I wrote notes in. And I'm going to have to look better in the porch or is it at my aunt's? I don't know, I missed that book. I'll have to start a different one, I guess. So I was messing with coupons. Figured I'd send some out to the military. I have a military girl. Um... So, I was doing that. And uh, we went and saw my aunt. If I repeat myself, I apologize. She's doing okay. My sister cleaned her room. And I got the... Uh, 
Sphinx today. Not, I mean, just a very, very slight pat on the head. He's still pretty skittish, but he'll get there. He'll get there. It's Sphinx and Danny from Hocus Pocus. Never seen it. You know, I have nothing to do with the names. I have nothing to do with putting them up online. I just take care of them and then, um, Well, all the foster, my daughter usually will, you know, um, see, the one thing about, I have hearing aids, and the bad thing about having hearing aids is that when you have long hair, the hair rubs on them. And it drives me nuts because it's <laughs> so then I have to try to get them the hair away from them. So I just came on here to ramble for a second. It seems like my phone was just ringing off the hook today. I have Blue Cross Blue Shield calling me about my aunt. I have a social worker calling me. I have a, it's called Harbor Health calling me that has a PT, OT, and a nurse. And then I find out that um, the one that, sh that was taking care of her haven't totally discharged her yet, so the other one can't start. And then I was looking at having, quote-unquote, sort of kind of a babysitter, somebody to sit with her, you know, to just help us out. I want her to have more interaction. Um with somebody that is willing to be patient enough to sit and talk with her with a whiteboard and just kind of so she has some company um, more than she does. So, I mean, all this stuff was going on today and, you know, canceling my uncle's appointment and forgetting the realtor. And thankfully he texted me, but I was on my way to get my car. He's <clears throat> super nice, super cool. So I was very, you know, I want him to kind of look at my house and see what his guesstimate is on what he thinks the market value is. I know you can go on to, I think it's Zulu or something like that. I know you can go on to all these sites and figure it out, but I just wanted to see as a realtor if he were to put it up for sale, what he would suggest. <clears throat> That's all. And it is cold and we got lots of snow and I was not prepared for it at all. I think this um, sinus infection might turn into a bronchial thing if I'm not careful. But unfortunately, I did not get what I was supposed to get today. And it's only 5.30 and it's getting dark and I feel like, oh, I should get ready to go to bed. So, I mean, it's just like all this stuff is going on. And, and again, I've mentioned it's, it's all about the caregiving things that you have to be on board, you know, be able to deal with, you know, I don't know, it's just, a, I'm waiting for my security camera, I am putting a security camera, I'm surprised I haven't gotten that yet, but I did order it from ring.com, it's supposed to go to my daughter's house, I think. I don't know. I'll have to ask if I got a package. I mean, there was a, no mail yesterday, so I'll have to look online and see. Usually I've been having stuff sent to this address instead because I tend to be here more. So I'll just have to have her have a lookout for it, but I'll probably have my son-in-law set it up anyway. And I've been telling everybody I'm having this set up so they know that it's going to be there, you know, that they're going to see it. You know, be aware that you're being taped, watched, etc. So, my aunt's aware of it too. So, it's just to protect everybody. You know, it's a shame that people have to do that. So, I can see who's doing what. So, when I have to go complain about something, I can actually describe the person better than my aunt. You know, man. So, that's really about it for today. 
I just, I don't know, I feel like I just need to take a week and do absolutely nothing and just, like, regenerate or not think and just, you know, try to, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> I've done that before. I have so much crap on my desk. I've had fits where I've just literally whooshed and it went flying all over the place. And then I have a little tantrum and then I sit down and I clean it all up. But the sand hurts. I couldn't do that now. So with that said, <laughs> just been a day. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's good. What am I doing? I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. I do have a question. If anybody is watching this, this hair. What do people do when they go to bed? Because it's like sometimes I've worn it in a, you know, thinking that would help. Because I mean, if I don't, I mean, when I brush it in the morning, it's like, oh my gosh, where did all the rats come from? I love rats. They make good pets, but not these kind of rats. So if anybody has any suggestions what people with long hair do um, to keep it from getting so tangled up, let me know. I feel like I'm shedding too. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I'm a piece of work. Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I know I'm looking all over the place. I'm spazzing out tonight. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs>